All right, Tatiana, thanks so much. And now it is time to take you on a zip trip. Each Friday, we are visiting a local town to show you what's special there. From the history to the food and fun, it's all the reasons that you need to take a trip to the local town. This week, we are in Greenwood. Fred Cunningham and Taylor Murray is joining us right now to kick things off. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Sabila. Nice morning here okay. in Greenwood, a jewel of a city that's about an hour south of Greenville, about an hour away from Augusta to give you a pretty good idea where we are. And this is part of a county that's coming up on its 125th anniversary of being formed. That's exactly right. Actually, this county was formed back in 1897, but the town itself actually got started in 1824 with the formation of the first cotton plantation. So Amy Wood takes us back in time. If you really want to get a feel for the history in Greenwood County, you need to stop by the museum. They focus on it here. Of course, the most important thing is to meet up with Nikki, our program director here at the museum. Hey, hey Nikki. Amy, how are you? Good. Tell Good. us a little bit about, I know we can all go all the way back to the Indians when it comes to the history of your community. Well, absolutely. The Indians were the original residents of South Carolina. And then along came the Revolutionary War. Emily Geiger is on our state seal because she was charged with delivering a message and was captured by the British. She tore up the paper and ate it. That's impressive. Yes, yes. Right here. Right here in Greenwood County. That's so cool. Chip Lee's Auto Exchange sold the first Model T Ford in South Carolina. Wow. Right here in, in Greenwood. And there were a lot of trains here too. There were a lot of trains. We had three depots. Time to go to school. A turn of the century school, a 1930s fire engine and kitchen. Blip Funeral Home is the longest continuous operating business in Greenwood County. Greenwood's embraced technology. Part C partnered with NASA and they sent some seeds up in space. And this is what it went up in. That is the actual module. Wow. And the seeds were in those little pods. Once you learn the history of Greenwood, you have to enjoy one of its greatest assets, Lake Greenwood. This place was actually generated from the Great Depression. They actually built a dam and a power plant here so that they could create jobs and electricity. One of the many assets of this community that people still enjoy today. Amy Wood, 7 News. If you're wondering about that NASA experiment, by the way, and whether gravity will actually pull a seed down and help it grow, they looked at it for six years and fell, found out that it had no impact. Ooh, pretty interesting. Yeah. And if you're curious about that museum featured in Amy's story, it's here in the upstate, um, in Greenwood, excuse me, and it's free to get in. All right, we got much more straight ahead throughout the morning here on Carolina Morning, live from Greenwood. I can't wait to hear more. All right, thanks so much, Fred and Taylor, and we will be back with more Carolina Morning 